This is a cool little history lesson. This is a 2101 DS Mini Winnebago here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And this was one of the first years this was built, one of the only years this was technically built. Um, it very quickly became the 2106 DS Micro Mini here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is when, uh, before Winnebago started doing narrow body construction. This is still a full eight foot wide mini series, although it, you know, it still is, has the heart of the Micro Mini in it. Um, this was their first attempt at a Murphy bed model, and it was very successful. Obviously, we picked up uh, Winnebago based on models like this and have enjoyed uh, carrying them here at our dealership uh, for, for many years now. Um, this is also one of, it might have been the very first year, they went to the uh, T60 gel coat fiberglass high gloss exteriors. So um, there's a lot of things going on here that uh, you know helped kind of propel them to the very successful product that they are today. We love having them here at our dealership, actually, if you look way far over there. I mean, they stick out of the campgrounds. You can see that red-skinned uh, Winnebago sticking out all the way over there. So we got that T60 True Diesel Pusher gel coat on here. Uh, aluminum wheels, and what's nice is we have a really aggressive galvanized wheel well, so that, God forbid, you have a blowout. Uh, you've got some protection there. Now, all of your hookups, including your black tank flush and your outside shower and everything, are all back here. We do have a walk-on roof. Today, the uh, Winnebago trailers do come standard with a rear roof ladder. At the time this was built, uh, I don't know if they put the backers in the wall uh, to make it ladder ready. So that's something I probably wouldn't mess with. Maximum size awning. It's, it's so cool looking at this scene, where they were and how far they've come. And what's interesting is it's still 98% the same. But the 2% the difference, they've really dialed this thing in here. Um, like in today's market, they have a little bit bigger windows. The 2106 DS now has a new style Murphy bed with a different pass-through. But this still has a full pass-through. And this, this floor plan, uh, even in its uh, current layout and incarnation, very popular and very successful. And again, 3,800 pounds. Very lightweight, very easy to manage. This was uh, one of the only years that they built this layout before they went to the, you know, very signature uh, looking Winnebago near white light interior. This is when they're still doing that somewhat cherry tone woodwork. Everybody was doing it. Winnebago was new back in travel trailers and they didn't want to come out too crazy, but that's fine because that's eventually where they ended up. So this is very easy to manipulate this style of Murphy bed. Um, all you do, you just can't, there's a little tension lock and all you have to do is just barely pull up on that. And then your mattress just kind of flips out. But what's interesting here, if you like this camper, but you just simply don't care about it being a Murphy bed, it doesn't have to be a Murphy bed. If you notice, the bed does not interfere with the slide out. The slide can come in and out without uh, messing with the Murphy bed. So if you don't care about that, if you just want to throw a normal queen bed up there, do it. Not a problem. You can just throw uh, a mattress up there and forget the whole sofa part. Or what you can do is you can leave this made up like a bed. Then when you have guests, you can put the bed away. It's just flip it and forget it. And just that easy, now we're camping. And we go back to having the DS, meaning dual sofa. And it seems odd, like why would you have two sofas? And the biggest thing is because of what it does for you from the entertainment standpoint. When you sit down here, you're sitting on boardwalk and park place for entertainment. And I know that a lot of times people aren't buying small campers for entertainment. But you know what? It rains, and it's nice to have that ability to have just a nice place to sit down and crash and relax. Also, if you are having friends over, you now have more seating. It's more social. Now, uh, hidden behind this little fold-down uh, jackknife sleeper sofa, you have uh, just a handy little uh, folding leg table that you can flip out here and, and enjoy some dining. So you have the benefit of a dinette without actually having a big space-eating dinette. Um, now, little the uh, previous owners really took good care of this, and they even added a, a little um, protection, little uh, angle piece of plastic on here, so when you slide that table in and out, it doesn't dig up and scar up anything. The kitchen is not the largest you've ever seen, but you know what? It's very effective for a little camper. You've got your sink covers, your sprayer faucet, you got a little flip-up countertop there. The stove cover and the full six cubic foot fridge round this out. She's a fully featured, just a little bit smaller uh, kitchen. Uh, very, again, lightweight though. Um, this is an all aluminum skeleton. That's another nice thing on these. Oh, no, no, no. The minis, the old minis, not the current ones that we carry here at Halo RV. This actually did still have a stick built roof, but everything else is an aluminum skeleton. Forgot about that. They haven't done that for a few years. Um, 
Entertainment, you can see that the previous owners were not scavengers. I don't remember what they purchased. I'm going to have to take a look at that. I don't remember why they swapped away from this. I'm going to guess they either wanted an updated Murphy bed or they wanted to get away from a Murphy bed. I'm not sure which one, but again, I'm guessing. I'm not telling, so that's useless. Porcelain, foot flush stool. What I like about those two is they sit a little higher. But you can see this has been kept clean. The bathroom in this is sharp. It's clean. They've uh, they've been using little the, the radius track shower walls on these, or the uh, shower doors, that when you close this, you've got extra elbow room up here so that you can actually soap up and, and not have a problem. And it's this rear closet back here that has made this in the 2106 Micro Mini, the, the predecessor, or the, uh, you know, the, oh, you know what I mean, the one that took over for this. I can't even think of, it's hot in here. You know, you can't see how hot it is in this video, but it's hot in here and I'm having trouble thinking. Little details in the modern ones that we carry, like uh, they've gone to stainless sinks and that, little touches, you know, have uh, really helped solidify this thing as just a, an, an extremely high premium level uh, brand trailer. But there's so many good things here. So what you're looking at is a nearly new trailer. And by the way, this can still qualify for same as new finance, potentially based on, you know, a few things like your qualifications and whatnot. But you can get same as new finance on a barely used RV that has been well kept and, uh, you know, you can laugh all the way to the bank with this thing because you're just not paying for someone else's depreciation. So give us a call. We only do everything at Halet RV. Carpetless, easy cleaning, by the way. Hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.